right, I'm still feeling under the weather, not feeling the best this morning. I felt very, very sick, but that's not gonna stop me because A, well, it's summer and uh, we don't get too many of these beautiful summer days. Wow, it's dark right now. B, there's a food festival, food trucks. I love food. And then C, well, I got something to teach you guys. So let's get to it. I can smell the food truck, so I know I'm getting closer. So hungry right now. I think I found it. The one wheel is a great way to get around, but oh, it weighs a ton. Full Canadian experience. Monday, I got yeah, it's actually really good. Okay. All right, the thing that I wanted to teach you guys today is how to get movement in photos, which sounds a little bit weird, and it's a little bit tricky to, to give the illusion of movement or to show the movement that's actually happening in a still frame. And this actually happened to me about a, a year ago when I was in Santa Cruz with Potato Jet and we were filming some one wheel stuff. And the photos that I was taking, they just weren't quite conveying what was happening. We were flying by on these one wheels on this little pathway and it just looked kind of boring, like no action, no speed was happening in the photo. And how I fixed this problem was using a slow shutter speed. With a slow shutter speed, you can get some of that movement or motion blur and still keep your subject tack sharp or pretty much sharp with some interesting techniques. The first and probably the easiest way to get that motion blur is just by tracking your subject. All right, before Gene heads back to uh, LA, he's gonna help me quickly demonstrate this technique or at least one version of it. I'm gonna need you to ride uh, this one wheel real nice and fast by me, but, but careful still because I don't want you to break your other elbow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you do know how to ride these things? <laughs> I have one at home, I swear. You you're sure? Uh, I think so. Okay. So instead of just waiting, holding your camera still and waiting for your subject to go through and then waiting to snap it, you're actually gonna move your camera along with your subject as it's moving fast and you're gonna use a slow shutter speed around 50 or 60. You can kind of experiment with it to get more or less. And that way, because you're moving the camera at the same speed as your subject is going through the frame, your subject is gonna be in focus, tack sharp, or almost sharp, and your background is gonna have this motion blur because you're moving the camera. All right, thanks, thanks, Gene, for, for demonstrating. Great, well, mediocre riding skills, but I still appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're great riding skills, great I'm riding an skills. I'm expert. It's been Watch me ride into the- Oh no! No, don't do it. Oh my gosh, you're scaring me. I might actually do it on accident. I honestly thought there was like an 80% chance that you were going in there. I committed too hard on the joke. And just yeah, just go. I've done that before. Dude, it was so good having you here in Toronto. You got to yeah. come by again. Maybe, Thanks for having me. Maybe in the winter and then we'll go like uh, swimming so, in the ice water or no, something. Yeah. I'm not, uh, can we do snowmobiling instead? We can do that nice too, jacket. but then a nice swim in the ice water afterwards. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I'll film you doing that. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> it's been good, man. Have a good right. trip back. Uh, I'm gonna just take this one wheel back to LA. Uh, nope, no that, no that stays here. It's got a pretty good range. No, 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 take no, no. Okay. no, 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 come back, come back, Dean. He's really committing to this joke too. Oh no, he's back. Yeah. Man, when I'm with this guy uh, all the time, he's just getting recognized. <laughs> people just want to take photos with no, him. He's so it's popular. It's way crazier with this guy. <laughs> it's annoying. You can't go anywhere with this guy. No. <laughs> How's it feel to be a celebrity? Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's, it's whatever. I mean, I'm super rich and stuff now, and everybody loves the hell out of me. So there's that. But yeah, it's, it's whatever. It's, oh, it's, wow. I, I like to stay humble, you know. I'm just hella rich. But beside that, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you very much, Potato Jet, for helping me out with this example. And right away with this technique, you can see the movement. You can tell that he's moving through really fast on this one wheel. Whereas if there was none of that motion blur, it might look like he's just standing still on the one wheel. Another way, and this is actually what I did when I was in Santa Cruz,
use with the one wheels is instead of moving your camera with the subject, you're actually gonna move physically with your subject. So if you have, for example, somebody on a skateboard, like I have my friend here, Patrick, you're gonna move with that person. So I'm on a one wheel and we're gonna move together. Now again, with this slow shutter speed, because we're moving the same speed, I'm just gonna keep my camera really still Patrick is gonna be in focus, but the background is gonna have a bit of this motion blur. This is probably my favorite way of doing it. It's a really interesting look and just gives that feeling of like you're going really fast versus if it was a high shutter speed like this, you don't get any of that motion blur. You don't get any of that background blur. So it just kind of looks like he's just standing there still. And the last way to use this slow shutter speed technique is to actually just keep your subject completely still and you stay really still and then have something move in the background or somewhere in your frame, have it be moving really fast. So it could be, for example, a Ferris wheel in the background or some water or a car going by. And so because you're staying still, your subject's staying still, those should be sharp. But then that fast moving object, because it's moving fast with the slow shutter speed, you're gonna get that motion blur. So that is an interesting way to get movement in your photos. And it's really important because sometimes you're taking photos of something that is moving really fast, but it just doesn't really look like it. So feel free to use this technique and maybe it will come in really handy like it did for me. All right, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not feeling very good. I feel very sick. I don't know how daily vloggers do it when they're feeling sick. Now that I think of it, I don't even remember them getting sick. Are they like superhuman? Are they ro Are daily vloggers robots? Am I missing something here? All right, I think I'm just gonna end this here. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna relax, sleep. Hopefully, I'll feel a lot better for tomorrow. But I hope you enjoyed this tip. And uh, thank you so much, Gene, for coming to visit and helping out. And thank you, Patrick, also for helping me with the skateboard shots. I will see you guys later. I think I've enjoyed this sunny day enough. I think it's okay to go home and just sleep for like the next 15 hours. Everybody seems to have fallen asleep. Who am I kidding? I got a one wheel more. It's summer. One of the best things about vlogging is that it kind of gives you a reason to just go out and do stuff. Just like, remember, remember that Pokemon Go game? That app everybody was running around wild searching for Pokemon. It just gave people a reason to go out. That's what I feel like vlogging is for me a lot of times. It just gives you a reason to go out and enjoy. Because there's a lot to enjoy in life. I think their barbecue's a little out of control. But it smells great. Slow shutter speed is also the key to time lapses, even though that time lapse wasn't wasn't that great. But it kind of shows my uh, little one wheel route here. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>